U.S. Education Secretary Betsy DeVos announcing her department has launched a new investigation into Michigan State University's Title IX compliance. Now, it will specifically be looking into MSU's handling of reports of sexual violence against former employee Larry Nasser. Meantime, several of Larry Nasser's victims, they are in attendance right now at the state capitol in Lansing, where a package of bills is being introduced to increase protections for survivors of sexual assault under the law. Rob Maloney is there working that story at this moment, and he will have the latest at 5. Classes will resume Wednesday for students at Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, where a gunman killed 17 students and staff two weeks ago teachers were at school today. News cameras, understandably, were kept outside. And that is when they recorded this, an image of a bright rainbow in the clouds above the school, which appeared about the same time those teachers arrived this morning. On Sunday, students were allowed to return to Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High for an optional orientation. For some, it was time to retrieve the books and backpacks and other belongings they left behind in the chaos following the shooting. For others, it was a time to see the fenced off freshman building where the shooting took place and also share their deep emotions with fellow students. Meantime, President Trump touched on the Florida school shooting while meeting with many of the nation's governors today. He made a point of criticizing some of the deputies who responded that day, saying he would have done a better job. But I think I, I really believe I'd run in there even if I didn't have a weapon. And I think most of the people in this room would have done that too, because I know most of you. But the way they performed was, was really a disgrace. The president said he does not want all teachers who carry guns in school, but he does favor arming teachers who have what he calls a natural talent for carrying a weapon.